Thanks for tuning in to BQ Prime. Quantum Mutual Fund has launched its small cap fund and the NFO opens on October 16. Therefore, with me is Mr. Chirag Mehta, who is the CIO at Quantum AMC. Thank you so much, Chirag, for taking out the time to Thank talk so to much. us. So uh, you know, I wanted to first understand the purpose behind the fund, uh, because are you seeing a lot of opportunities in small cap? As we are saying, many people are actually chasing small cap, especially given the market rally, right? And uh, potentially considered, you know, like the next potential multi-baggers, right, in that space. So what has the thought process been that way? Sure. So overall, we are seeing that the small cap space is a very large universe and therefore that translates to a big opportunity set, right? So given that opportunity set, there will always be, you know, good growth ideas available at a fair valuation where people can invest and make a good amount of uh, wealth over the long run. So that is our idea of giving that investors an optimal portfolio by investing in small caps that can deliver that long-term wealth for their wealth creation journey. So I think uh, it's a must that investors have some allocation to small caps and that can help you. Of course, it's high return, high risk, but at the same time, given the opportunity set that exists in that space, I think it's worthwhile to invest a small allocation of their portfolio into small caps. Right, you know, as you mentioned risk, because of course that is something that investors have to look at, right? And you know, there was certain data, actually there's no concrete data out there, but not many small caps make it into mid caps compared to mid caps making it into large caps. So do you have any analysis on that or what is your stance on that? Because you will be evaluating a lot of companies based on that. So we do have seen many companies migrate into mid caps and small caps over a period of time. But if you see the definitions around mid cap, small cap, large caps have changed so much. So earlier what would have gone migrated from small cap to mid cap because of the constrained universe of 150 stocks in the mid cap space may have come back again to the small cap. But that's uh, one important thing to see is whether that stock has delivered on the risk return profile that investor wanted. Have that created that wealth for the investors or not? And we think that in the small cap space, there is a big scope because these are unexplored, under-researched, under-owned companies where you can you know, identify the right businesses in the right space at the right time and who can deliver compounded returns over the long run as they grow. So overall, we think that you know, don't look at what kind of migrates from one space to the other. See the potential of companies to deliver good returns over the long run. You know, as a fund house, uh, so I mean, there are many passive, uh, you know, ma passively managed uh, funds that are going to be coming up with many of the new entrants. So as a fund house, where do you currently stand? Is it more of active or passive or a mix of both? Because I think even quant, uh, you know, investing technique is something that has been coming up. So what is your stance on that? So I think there are still inefficiencies in Indian markets. And until that inefficiencies exist from an information perspective, asymmetry, uh, there is a potential for an active manager to kind of dig deep dive, research, and identify the good businesses. So until that space remains, we think that active is where we can deliver alpha for our investors. Of course, passive, if someone decides that you know they want to go passive, they can also go passive. We also have a nifty ETF. Uh, where people we do give investors to invest into. But overall, we think that, especially in the cases like where we see small caps, where there is bigger scope to identify the right businesses, you can't invest in companies with weak corporate governance because that's a big risk that you take when investing in small caps. So overall, in, even in the small cap space, we think active mu works much better as compared to passives, and therefore we have come up with an active fund and not a passive fund in the small cap. Great. Um, any, you know, any new sector specific or any kind of new category that you're planning to venture into given there are so many opportunities obviously coming up, right? So absolutely. Uh, if you see the small cap space, there's so many newer businesses, niche businesses, innovative businesses that have come up and there's a big opportunity uh, which is not present in the large caps, which is available in the small caps. For example, in the financial sector, you have small finance banks, you have mutual fund distribution, you have broking companies, which are not there part of the large cap world, but available in small cap. These are big themes, emerging themes, but have good potential to grow as, we, as the penetration in the financial sector increases in India. Uh, second is auto ancillary companies, especially the story towards movement from ICE engines to EVs. Uh, there, you know, if you are an OEM, you can cater to a certain set of customers of your own, right? And have them migrate from ICE engines to EV engines or choose the youth of today who will want more cleaner, efficient vehicles and therefore choose EV. But when it comes to auto ancillary companies, if they are in the right pace, space in the ecosystem, they can cater to all the OEMs. And therefore, your business is not just one, but it's multifold businesses that they can develop. And therefore, there's a big opportunity set. Especially there are uh, things like, you know, pharma, healthcare, etc., which are budding themes, uh, good sectors, CDMO, APIs, etc. 
which could be you know uh, winners for tomorrow uh, we are looking at all those kind of teams to, uh, today that are available uh, which are fast growing emerging teams have good potential runway uh, and available at a fair valuation so we will look at those kind of ideas in the fund